Hey guys, okay, so I haven't done a vlog in a couple of weeks. Well, it's really only been maybe a week, I don't really know. Um, because I've had the job interview, which I talked about before. Um, just a lot of different things going on. So I get to tell you guys about it. Sorry I look like a mess right now, but I um, worked today. I worked out a little bit and just didn't really feel like getting dressed up to do a vlog, which I mean, if I dressed up all the time, like makeup, hair, all that good stuff, it wouldn't be realistic. So, anyway. So, okay, first things first. Had the job interview on Thursday. It, it was a job, job interview for a teaching position at a private school. Um, I really, really want this one because it's just a great atmosphere. I've known people who've taught there. I've known people who've gone to school there. It's a really good school. My family really needs this. I mean, this is like big time for us. Um, the pay is not, it's not like wonderful, but that's not why I went into this. I didn't go into teaching expecting a, you know, what, six digit salary. That's just not why I did it. Um, but, uh, you know, of course I get, I would get insurance. Um, the benefits package was fairly decent, so... Anyway, it would be good for us, for our size family, for, um, just for everything. It would be a good situation. So, I feel like it went okay. I don't, I don't think it went as good as I think, it, you know, as I feel like it should have. But then again, I'm also going to be really hard on myself. Like, I could hear my voice shaking and all that good stuff. I did make, I made a portfolio. Took a portfolio with me, which I hope puts me over the edge. Like, um, I I knew going in there that there were going to be a lot of people <laughs> wanting this job. So I thought, you know, I've got to come up with something that's going to put me over the edge, something that's going to make her remember me. So I did a portfolio, and it has, um, like, it has my teaching certificate there. And it had a copy of my re resume in here. But she kept it because it was an updated copy. Um, it has um, my teaching philosophy, my philosophy of teaching in here, which if, if you don't know what that is, it's just basically how I do things, why I do things, just my whole philosophy of teaching. Um, so, um, it's got lesson plans, um, centers that I would do in the classroom, which she did make a comment about my lesson plan. She said they were right, right on target with what she does with her teachers. Like, her her staff, what they do, it was right on target with them. So I, I felt good about that. I was like, well, you know. And then the last section was just like, um, I had like, I do newsletters for parents. And it was like a, cop a copy of my newsletter. That I, that I like to do um, to keep parents informed and some case studies that I had to do in school some little activities that I made I made like a little tooth like a 4 plus 4 and they have to find like the matching toothbrush to go with it and so anyway I just showed her some like examples of my activities that I do and everything so I'm hoping that the portfolio kind of puts me over the edge however I did find out <laughs> that one of my coworkers at the place that I'm you know tutoring at right now has applied for this job also and that is just so awkward for me because he's a great teacher he's a great guy but at the same time I'm like <laughs> I really want this job you know so we won't have any hard feelings towards each other, um, but it's just awkward competing against a friend, you know, or one of your own coworkers. It's just weird. So anyway, so that's that. Um, Easter's coming up. We went to see the Easter Bunny on Sun. Do we go Sunday? Yeah, we went Sunday. Sorry, he's Kyle's over there. Um, we went Sunday. She is terrified of the Easter Bunny, like. We went over there, we got into line, and the Easter Bunny was on a break. Well, he started walking towards us, and she was fine. She was smiling, she was laughing, pointing at him, all that good stuff. And then, like, the closer and closer he got, her face just started dropping. Like, she was like, oh, crap, that thing is coming near me. <laughs> and she flipped out. She completely flipped out. Um, I went over there, I tried to put her in his lap, and she scratched me. Like, she clawed the you-know-what out of me. So... I was like, I'm not going to force her to do this, you know, whatever. So we went down to Sears and got some pictures made. It was sad, but, hey, you know, hey, at least she went to see Santa this year. 
I'd rather her get Santa pictures than Easter Bunny pictures, so, you know, whatever. Um, so anyway, so that went okay, I guess. We got some cute pictures. Um, the other thing that's been going on is my jaw. <laughs> we had to go to the emergency room. Okay, my interview was Thursday. And then I had to be at work right after my interview. Well, after work, I ended up having to go to the emergency room. Because, um, I guess it was Monday morning I woke up and my jaw had locked on me. Like, you know sometimes when you're chewing something, your, your jaw might pop, you know? Well, mine popped and then it just locked. So I can only m open my mouth to about, like, right here. Like, that's about as wide as I can open it. And that's better than what it was Monday. Um, so... I went to, well, I called the dentist. He said he couldn't help me. I called the um, the family practitioner that I go and see, and he said I needed to go straight to the emergency room since it had been so long. So I went over there. Basically, I have something called TMJ. It's, it's really common, I guess. I had never heard of it, but it's really common. And what it basically means is that um, I'm going to have to wear, like, a night guard at night. Because they say that people who grind their teeth at night, that, that's what can cause it. I don't remember ever have any, having any problems grinding my teeth. I've never noticed that I do it. My husband's never noticed me doing it. And the dentist has never said anything about it. You know, it seems like they would notice something, but I don't, I don't know. Um, but, I, you know, I, I know that my jaw pops a lot. Like, when I have to eat something real chewy, my jaw will pop. But I just never thought anything of it until now. So anyway, so it's still locked in place to this day. I've been on medication since Thursday night. And tonight is my last dose of medicine and it's still locked. So I don't know what they're going to have to do about it. They mentioned in the emergency room that if it stays locked, they might have to do some sort of surgical procedure. But I hope it doesn't come to that. I hope that I wake up in the morning and it it's back to normal, but I don't know. It's very painful. Um, I've been on morphine. I don't know. Is that when I'm on morphine? I think. Honey? Codeine. codeine. Not morphine. Where did I get morphine from? Codeine. Yeah, like liquid codeine. Um, but, I mean, like, I can only take it at night because of, you know, Kaylee. I've got to be alert with her. and So I've been taking it at night, and tonight's my last dose of it. So I'm like... <laughs> great what am I going to do after tonight so anyway so that's been fun <laughs> dealing with me and my sister got to sit down or my sister and I got to sit down um at the emergency room together Thursday night because my husband was at work and Kaylee stayed with mom and oh it was a mess but anyway we'll get it worked out um the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about I am going to make a poster I have poster board and I have been on and off this diet like none other. And so I've decided I'm getting very serious about it because, sorry, a year from now, Kyle and I are wanting to TTC. And I don't want to be in the same situation then that I am now. Like, I know that I'm probably going to have to have another C-section. I hope I can have a V-back, but chances are I'm going to have to have a C-section. Um, so I don't want to put myself in the same situation. Like... Part of me feels like my, my blood pressure got so high last time with Kaylee because I was not in shape and I wasn't taking care of my body. So I want to get into shape. I want to get down to a healthy weight so that, you know, it's better with Kaylee. You know, I mean, not better with Kaylee, better with the next baby. Um, so maybe my chances of having a VBAC can be stronger um, if, you know, if a hospital were perform what a lot of hospitals are saying, uh-uh, anymore. So I have a poster board. And I'm going to weigh myself every other Monday, and I'm going to put my progress on there. For me to lose the lose 50 pounds um, like I want to by next year, I've got to lose about two, two pounds every two weeks. So basically a pound a week until then, which I think is possible. Um, I've done really well today and the other day. Hey, Kyle, can you hand me my water bottle, please? I want to show you guys this water that I found. It is amazing. Like, I have it, have not wanted a soda um, at all this, this weekend. Okay. This is, it's called Springtime Strawberry. Okay. 
They have strawberry, and I don't really know. I think they have lemon. They have other flavors, too. But these are amazing. They are so good. Dasani used to do one also. I think they still do, but I just, I'm not a fan. This, I love. It's so good. So I've been drinking this like none other. Um, but I have the poster board. I'm going to record my weight so that it's like right in front of me. You know, like if I have it right in front of me, I'll know. You know, it'll remind me. So I'll put it up like in the bathroom or something so I can write my weight down. And um, anyway, so and like today I had, um, what did I have today? Oh, I can't even remember. I've already taken the pain pill. <laughs> so I'm like out of it. But anyway, so I'm getting very serious about it. I walked a lot today. We went to the park. We took Kaylee to the park and my husband and I did four laps around the walking trail and so we're estimating it's probably a mile to a mile and a half what we walked today which is a good start you know for someone who has not been exercising like they should. It's, it, it's a really good start. That's another reason why I look so ugh tonight. So anyway well that's really about it guys. I just wanted to tell you um, about the job interview, about the Easter experience, and the weight loss plan for now so um yeah and i'm counting on you guys i'm gonna start watching some of these weight loss vlogs religiously now because i have got to get motivated like if you guys have any suggestions on how to keep me motivated please let me know i'm one of those people i like to see records like if i can see how far i've come then it helps and i'm thinking about doing like belly shots like getting pictures of my stomach and watching me shrink, you know, maybe, maybe it'll help. I don't know, but I was looking at pictures the other day of when I was younger. Even, like, right like before I had Kaylee, I had lost a lot of weight. And it, and just, it kind of makes me depressed. I'm like, this is, I've never been, been this big in my life. It's just very depressing for me right now. So, we're going to get on the ball. Um, because I'm really getting excited thinking about the next baby. And I just want to get, get myself prepared um, physically before you know, that happens, so, anyway, okay, guys, well, I will talk to you later, oh, I'm gonna try to have Kaylee in the next vlog, I promise, I know I haven't had her in a vlog in a couple of, in a few weeks, so, I'm gonna get her in a vlog, probably coming up soon, I don't know, so, okay, guys, thanks, bye!